All right. So in this video, I want to take you through how our desktop works with the Revit add-in and kind of our add-in strategy in general. So here you're looking at the Avail desktop. And I'm sure you're familiar with our Revit add-in as well, um, if you've downloaded Avail. But sometimes there's confusion about how they work together and how the Revit add-in works in standalone mode. So I want to walk you through that. Right now, I've got the desktop open at the same time as the Revit add-in. We call this uh, basically tether mode. So whenever I look for a piece of content on the desktop, you, know, you might have this on one monitor and Revit on the other. Whenever I look for something in the desktop, what you do is you find exactly what you want with our amazing search. You just click on it once. And what it's going to do is it's going to load it over here in the Revit add-in. And what we're going to do is we're going to tab out the type catalog, the nested families, and the parameters, and you can drag that out into your design. And so that's what tether mode looks like between the two. Now you can shut down the desktop, and this is going to go into what we call standalone mode. And if you expand this, you're going to have all of your channels. You're going to have the same search functionality as you have in the desktop with tags and filters or the text box up here. I can do that same search and I'm going to get the exact same results. And very similar, whenever you know what you want, you just click on it once and it's going to load it here. And we even took into account, you know, you're left-handed or right-handed, so you don't have to drag it all across those. And I can just, again, just drag and drop. So that is how tether mode and standalone mode work with Revit. Now we also have an add-in with Rhino. Um, and so here's kind of our, our look with these add-ins or kind of where we, where we want to go with these add-ins and the way we think about these. Ultimately, we want to be wherever your designers are so they can find their content in the moment in the most convenient way possible. The desktop is definitely our core product where you can find all the file types and drag and drop out of um, with Revit, it's a little different just because of the complexity of those file types and some of the workflows along with the Revit. But with applications like Rhino, this standalone mode, um, it, it does the job great when it comes to finding content and just dragging and dropping. So again, we'll have multiple of these add-ins that we're always going to be adding. So it's going to be you know, AutoCAD, Civil 3D, 3DS Max, SketchUp. You know, these kind of add-ins will be coming down the road. Again, the play is... We want to be where your designers are and make it as convenient as possible for them to find what they want and drag and drop into their projects, no matter what application they're using. So I want to make this quick video just so you can get an understanding of add-ins, how they work together, and kind of our view on you know why they're important for your designers and your team. Um, so thank you for watching.